Hey everyone, Mike Mulligan here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am a certified orientation and mobility specialist. And today for my tip of the day, I'm gonna be talking about and demonstrating how to make a microwave accessible for somebody who's blind or visually impaired. All right, let's do this. All right, so here I am in my kitchen and in front of me here is my microwave. And this microwave right now is not labeled, but I'm gonna show you how I like to label microwaves uh, right now. So in this bag here, I have what we call, or I call bump dots, and they come in different shapes and colors, and they're sticky, and that's what I'm gonna be using to label this microwave. So this microwave right now, by touch, it's really hard to tell uh, which button is which, and the contrast isn't that great. Uh, especially when the lighting's not very good. So adding some high contrast can be good for somebody who's low vision or who benefits from um, some contrast. So that's one way to do it. But these uh, bump dots are also very tactile. So uh, that can be helpful for someone who has no vision or somebody who likes the combination of both tactile and high contrast. So that's kind of the basics. And now I'm gonna show you how I put these bump dots on and which buttons I put them on. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so uh, it's a little more clear, um, but let's do this. All right, now that I've zoomed in, I'm gonna show you where I like to place these different bump dots. And in that baggie I had, I had some circular white ones, some square white ones, some circular black and square black ones. Uh, but the ones that I like to use the most are these little circle orange ones. Uh, they tend to stick out the most on microwaves because a lot of microwaves have some uh, black background, so I like the bright orange uh, color to it, but it's really up to the person's preference or what uh, they find the most helpful. So what I'm going to do first is put one of these orange bumps on the number five. So I like the number five and I'll explain here in a second. So I'm putting this on uh, number five and I like it to be on number five. Um, that's not perfectly straight, but because the number five is right in the middle of the numbers and it's a good way of fanning out to find the different numbers. So if you go up it's two, down it's eight, but you always know where the five is. And then the next two I like to do, and normally I just do three total, is to put one on the stop clear button. So this is in the bottom left on the stop clear. And then the other one I like to put on the start. So between those three uh, bump dots, you can tell where the different buttons are, and that pretty much covers everything. Um, but if you have some other buttons you like, say like a popcorn button at the top, or um, a different one, the one that says pizza here, you can also put a bump there. But I definitely recommend not putting bump dots on all the numbers, uh, then it'll just become too confusing with all the different uh, bump dots on the microwave. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this tip of the day video was helpful in learning how to make a microwave accessible for somebody who's blind or visually impaired. And please consider subscribing to my channel here. And if you click that little bell icon, you'll be alerted when a new tip of the day video becomes available. And have a wonderful day.